Welcome everybody to Division Three District Championship game number two tonight. This is the third game of three today here that you've watched on BMG Media. Nathan Lamb alongside Hunter Wright. And Hunter, we've got the South Point Pointers and the Zane Trace Pioneers. South Point uh, champions of the OVC. Zane Trace champions of the SVC. And both meet tonight for a district championship on the line. Uh, the South Point Pointers, Hunter, they've only won one district championship, and it was all the way back in 1990. And the uh, Zane Trace Pioneers have won four district titles. Their last coming in 2020, also won it in 2019, but prior to that was 1970 and 69. So it's been, it was a while in between those two uh, district championships for the Zane Trace Pioneers, but this should be one exciting basketball game tonight, Hunter, in the nightcap here. Uh, live on BMG Media, uh, but before we break this down, we want to uh, want to go ahead and uh, give a shout out to our sponsors for this tournament run. Uh, we've had quite a few exciting games uh, throughout this uh, Division Three tournament. Uh, got to see the Division Two district title game earlier today. It was the first game of the triple header uh, here on BMG. But uh, our sponsors, General Mills of Wellston. We'd like to thank General Mills of Wellston for sponsoring our live coverage of the OHSAA district basketball tournament. General Mills of Wellston is the preferred employer in Southeast Ohio and are currently offering a $1,000 retention bonus for all new hires. Apply today at careers.generalmills.com or by scanning the QR code shown on the screen throughout the game. Again, thank you to General Mills for your sponsorship. Also, we have Lockard Insurance. We'd like to thank Lockard Insurance of Wellston for sponsoring our live coverage of the OHSA District Basketball Tournament. Lockard Insurance is the preferred insurance provider in Southeast Ohio, and their agents are ready to take your call and see how they can help you with your home and automotive insurance needs. Give them a call today at 740-384-2020. That's 740-384-2020 to see how they could help you. Again, thank you to Lockard Insurance and General Mills. So we've got a few minutes before tip or before uh, the uh, starting lineups here in the nightcap. Um, Hunter, let's talk a little bit about each team. Zane Trace, 21-3. and three. They've won 13 straight games on a roll at the right time. Uh, South Point, who won a very tough OVC. Uh, they, uh, they come into the game 20-4, and four, Zane Trace, 21-3. and three. Uh, We saw Zane Trace last Tuesday, so we're pretty familiar with them. But what's going to be the difference maker for the South Point Pointers tonight in terms of uh, being able to beat Mr. Ream and the uh, Zane Trace Pioneers? Yeah, I, I think both tournament runs for these teams have been different. Um, Zane Trace has gotten two double-digit wins where South Point's had two wins by a total of four points. So, you know, even though they're, they're close games, they, they've won those. So they're, they're used to grinding it out and, and, you know, fighting for a victory where Zane Trace has kind of eased their way through the tournament. So that can almost be a benefit for them if this becomes a close game for the pointers. Right. And it's going to be uh, interesting because South Point actually won their district semifinal game on a last-second buzzer-beater three-pointer uh, by Caleb Lovely, who... You will see the talented junior uh, 6'3 guard, maybe the best player on the court tonight. Uh, you know, Xander Reen's going to have a, a thing or two to say sure, about yeah. that uh, for Zane Trace, but it's going to be fun to see Lovely. It's going to be fun to see Reen go at it. Uh, also, Irma Volich for South Point, another solid player. He's a six foot senior. Uh, you're going to hear him quite a bit tonight, but uh, it'll be interesting to see just how both of these two teams. Kind of get accustomed to the Convocation Center here. It's the first game for either team at the Convo. Uh, and, you know, we all know the different backdrop. Huge, huge arena here in Southeast Ohio. So it's uh, it's going to be interesting to see who can 
get uh, get the butterflies out of the way early and just focus on the game. So, all right. So what we're going to do is is we're going to send it down to the voice of Sweet Lou Horvath, the voice of the Bobcats, and we're going to let him uh, we're going to let him read the starting lineups for tonight. about ready to get this thing kicked off here. Xander Reams going to jump against Xander Jordan. Division three, district championship on the line. Zane Trace and Southland. And we are underway. South Point gets the tip. Caleb Lovely gives it to Irma Volich. Irma Volich inside. Nice pass. Lovely layup. Off glass it in, and the South Point pointers are up first, two to nothing. Uh, great start for them. Very early. Brandon Robinson gets it across the timeline, looking for help. Gets it over to Rob Nalen Robinson. Gerald back to Ream. And Ream back over to Landon Robinson. Again, we saw this last Tuesday. Uh, Zane Trace, usually pretty patient on offense as the pointers get the steal there. And a nice pass inside. And missed the layup. Vance had the bunny there. We're a minute in, seven minutes to go, first quarter. St. Trace nearly throws it away again. Ream back out. Robinson back in the corner to Ream. His quick three. Got it. And it's now three to two. And Xander Ream hits the three. Pass ahead to Vance. Gets it back out. And nearly stolen ball gets free. Back to Lovely. He's going to drive to the basket. His shot's just short. 
And Vance with the board. And out of bounds back to Zane Trace. A couple of decent chances there for South Point. Let's see if the Pioneers slow things down here. They're up 3 to 2, 6.30 to go first quarter in the Division Three District final game here from the Convocation Center in Athens. Green's got it. He's going to take another three. In and out. This one almost fell as Stone Rock got the board and the ball goes out of bounds, but it'll stay with South Point or Zane Trace, sorry. Brock Gerald's going to do the inbounding here. Throws it in. Robinson has it now inside to Nalen Robinson. Ream back out, back to Ream. Same spot, different result. He gets the three. It's now six to two. Ream's having a similar start to the, the last game against Wheelersburg. 5.59 to go in this one, first quarter. Carter Smith with it out top. That's one thing you uh, like to see if you're Zane Trace is Green getting hot as Lovely misses the shot and the ball is tipped, saved, and almost stolen back, but Zane Trace has it. See if they get it to Ream. He's got a wide open three from the left side this time. That's short, no good. Rebound, Nalen Robinson. He puts up the shot, but they're going to call an offensive foul on Nalen Robinson. Irma Volich drew the foul there. With 5.30 to go, it's... Six to two, and it's you're exactly right, uh, Hunter. I believe the first seven points of the uh, district semifinal game against the Wheelersburg Pirates uh, all belong to Mr. Ream. Yep. The lovely, the six-three junior, and they're clearing out space to the rack, laying off the glass and in, and he'll draw the foul. You can see that that one coming from a mile away. Oh, yeah, they, they definitely wanted to get some points. Uh, had a few easy looks earlier and uh, wasn't hitting them, so they wanted to for sure, and Lovely's probably the guy to get you that for sure bucket. Lovely to the line for the first time tonight, his first shot. Tonight is good, and it's now 6-5. to five. Zane Trace with a one-point lead. Robinson, Lovely on him. Inside and Nalen Robinson back out to Landon. Landon's going to drive in the paint. Reverse layup. Gets the roll. Eight to five now. Lovely with it from the elbow. Looking for help. Irma Volich back to Lovely. Lovely drives. Off the left hand. No good. Almost had it. The ball is back to Irma Volich. His three. No good. And Ream with the rebound. Robinson with it. Or Zane Trace over to Ream. Ream's got Carter Smith guarding him. He goes right around him for the layup. And it's now 10 to 5. Zane Trace. Lovely with it. Nice drive to the basket. Throws it up, and they're going to call an offensive foul. Nalen Robinson draws the foul on Lovely as he made the basket, but it will not count. Yeah, good effort by Robinson there, taking that, that charge. Standing in the way. Out point with the press. They get it into to Xander Ream. Now they back off. Four minutes to go, first quarter. Green, give and go, thought about a three, hits it inside now from the elbow, got it, 12 to five. He's feeling it right now. Green with 10 points, and a quick foul there on Xander Ream. His first foul of tonight with 3.43 to go in the first quarter, it's 12 to five. Ten points for the talented 6'5 senior from Zane Trace, Xander Ream. 
Lovely has five. We talked about that matchup in the pregame. As Lovely's going to drive all the way to the basket, sidestep, threw it up, no call, no basket. And a cheap foul there. Maybe a frustration foul I think so. by Lovely. And you want him to be, I mean, it's two fouls already for, for Lovely. You don't, you don't want him in foul trouble, especially with this early deficit. Absolutely not, especially considering he's got all five points for South Point right now. Dan Vereen gets it in and kicks it off his foot out of bounds. A turnover back to South Point and Lovely. Let's see if Lovely takes a seat. He's not. Haney comes in for South Point. And Henshaw. I'm sorry, that's... Lovely in the corner, Carter Smith. Pulls up, jumper no good, rebound Reem. I think if you're Zane Trace here, you kind of want to go after Lovely, see if you can draw that third foul. That's what Reem's doing. The shot, though, blocked, however, by Dornan, the 6'4 senior. It'll stay Pioneer ball, 2.50 to go. First quarter. Throw it up, and it's tipped. And on the line, it'll go back to Zane Trace, but a nice, pl nice play by Haney, the 6'3 junior. Oh, yeah. okay. Rock gets it into Ream. Ream double team, throws it away. And their heads up play by Haney, this time they retained possession and Carter Smith has it out top over to Norma Volich back to Smith over to Lovely. See if Lovely drives to the basket again. Takes it inside, strong to the rack, off glass and in, wanted the foul, no foul call and it's 12 to seven. And you see, you see these two players, Lovely and Dan Dereem and uh, there, there's a reason these two teams are in the district championship oh. game. Reem has it with Carter Smith guarding him. Now into the corner, Gerald has it. He's gonna drive, floater, in and out, no good. Coming the other way, Irma Volic steps, puts up the shot, gets it in. For four quick points for the South Point Pointers, it's now 12 to nine, 142 to go first quarter. Gerald gets it poked away out of bounds. Substitution for the pointers, Jackson Childers into the game. Wilburn in for South Point. And Childers, the 6'6 sophomore. For the pointers and Ison coming in for Zane Trace. As Reem will take a seat. Lovely still in the game for South Point with two quick fouls. We'll see if uh, they can eat into this lead some more as the ball is thrown away. Yeah, South Point last few possessions have played really impressive defense and uh, caused a few turnovers. We got 134 left first quarter. Three-point ball game here from Convocation Center in Athens. Oh, nice give and go. Missed the shot. Pass to head. Ison has it all the way to the rack. Tried the reverse, but gets called for the foul was Childers. And Ison will shoot two for Zane Trace.
First shot's too strong, no good. So Reem gets a quick 30-second break, and he's back in the ballgame for Zane Trace. Now he did a lot that first first half of the quarter. Um, so he's probably trying to, to finish it strong here. Ison's second shot. This one's good. And it's now a four-point ball game, 13 to 9, 115 to go. First quarter, the Division Three District Championship game. Lovely with the ball out top. And nearly loses it. Gets it over in the corner to Irma Volich. Back to Lovely. Lovely thought about a three. Now he takes that three with a hand in his face. Front iron, no good. Rebound by Ison. And Irma Volich. Uh, be careful there. Not to pick up a cheap foul. Lovely again with two fouls. He wants no, no part of a, of a foul here late in the first quarter. Zane Trace now gets it in. Stone Rock, his shot up. Off, or off the rim, no good. Irma Volich throws it all the way ahead. And nearly out of bounds, but saved. Wow, what a save. It was Haney, and Irma Volich has it. Back to Haney in the corner for three. Got it! 12. 13 to 12 now. It's a one-point ball game. Haney with a huge shot, big save, and then came back with the big three in the corner. 16 seconds left. Ison going to pick up a foul on Irma Volich here. We don't want him getting in foul trouble either. So the two big, big time scorers for South Point have a combined three fouls here. And we are nearing the end of the first quarter. Ten seconds left. Landon Gerald with the ball. Five seconds left. Gerald drives from the foul line. Off the glass, no good. And that's going to be it for the first quarter. 13 to 12. Zane Trace leads. So Hunter, a uh, pretty exciting first quarter there. Uh, looked like, you know, Zane Dream and the pointers were, or the, uh, the, Pioneers. Pioneers. <laughs> it's so similar to pointers. Yeah. Uh, right. Xander Reem and the Pioneers looked like they were going to take control of this game early and really was a tale of two first halves of the quarter because South Point, you know, they just chipped away at it. Lovely. You know, even with the foul trouble, they chipped away, hit a big three by Haney in the corner, and it's a one-point ball game at the end of the first quarter. Yeah, and, and that's that's kind of the similar start that Zandre's had in their last game against Wheelersburg. Um, you know, Reem, Reem had a, such a hot start, and then, they kind of stalled out there for a minute, and then they kind of climbed back into it. Um, South Point, I mean, Lovely, you know, he's, he had a few good looks, um, but other te other players are stepping up for South Point. Haney's made a few plays on defense and hit that big three. So right. um, I, I think the, the longer this game goes, Zane Trace really needs other people to start stepping up and getting some points. Right now the scoring for Zane Trace, Sandarine with 10 points, Ison with one. And Landon Robinson has, oh, that is, yeah, Landon Robinson has two points for Zane Trace and Lovely with seven. Haney with three and Irma Volich with two for South Point in the first quarter. So we start second quarter play with Gerald over to Ream. Ream's going to try to drive, loses the ball, now throws it away. Again, good defense by the pointers. Lovely has it. He's going to drive. Picks it over into the corner. Haney thought about a three. Now a step back, throws it back inside, and it's now back out to Irma Volich. Haney's got it in the corner. A wide open down low was Dornan. Wilburn has it over to Irma Volich. Going to pick up a screen and poked away. Back inside's Dornan, and he throws it away. And it's going to go out of bounds to Zane Trace. So back-to-back -back turnovers to start the second quarter. And that ball stepped out of bounds. I wonder, if, I wonder if Haney plays football. He'd be a heck of a cornerback. <laughs> he's, he's snatching all his passes. Pretty quick, yeah. Deflecting them. Yeah. 
Gerald inbound the ball here. Ream has it. Throws it inside to Stone Rock. And there's got to be a foul there. Foul's going to be on Jackson Vance, and Stone Rock will go to the line for two. And looking for the first score in the second quarter here. This B3 District Championship game. The shot up no good. Stays 13 to 12, Zane Trace. Couple subs here for both teams. Dance comes out. Carter back in. Stone Rock's second shot. Strong, no good. Tipped up. Gathered by Haney. He throws it ahead. Irma Volich with it. He drives into the paint. Kicks it back out. Haney this time from the opposite side. Three's no good. Rebound. Stone Rock. He gets it over. To Robinson who brings it up the floor with Lovely on him. This time he gets it over to Ison. His shot off glass, no good. Too strong. Rebound by Smith. He hits it ahead. Irma Valic driving at the elbow. Back out. Carter thought about a three. He drives. Dishes inside. Haney. Shot up, no good. No foul. We wanted one there. And Reem has it for South or for Zane Trace. Haney on him. Now they get it back over to Robinson. Back over to Ison. Ison drives. He's going to take it all the way to the rack. Lays it off glass and in. I don't know if anybody expected him. To, I don't think he expected himself to take it. I all think the way. he was looking for a pass, yeah, I but think so. yeah, no nobody problem. stepped in front, so he took it to the glass. 15 to 12, first shot made in the second quarter. Aimed by Ison. It's three point ball game with 5.50 to go. As Lovely takes it to the hole, puts it in. It's too easy. For Caleb Lovely, the 6 3 junior guard. You talk about a player that's going to make some noise next year. Oh, yeah. In the OVC. Left handed, too. I'll point that out. Ison gets it inside. I tried to get it inside. Knocked away there. Here's Dorman. Back to Zane Trace. Green with Carter guarding him. Takes a step back three. In and out, no good. Again, you see the confidence in Xander Ream. You see the <laughs> right. confidence in Ream. You see the confidence in Lovely to take those difficult shots. As Lovely's got a wide open shot here from the top. Got it. That was it. And South Point takes the lead 17 to 15 with five minutes left in the first half. Ison has it, Irmabalich on him. It's the screen. Gets it back to Reen. Reen behind the back. Takes a deep three. In and out, no good. Rebound, Stone Rock. Nice save. And we've got a timeout by Zane Trace. So we'd like to thank General Mills of Wellston for sponsoring our live coverage of the OHSA District Basketball Tournament. General Mills of Wellston is the preferred employer in Southeast Ohio and are currently offering a $1,000 retention bonus for all new hires. Apply today at careers.generalmills.com or by scanning the QR code shown on your screen throughout the game. Again, thanks to General Mills for your sponsorship. Also, we'd like to thank Lockard Insurance uh, of Wellston for sponsoring our live coverage of the OHSAA District Basketball Tournament. Lockard Insurance is the preferred insurance provided provider in Southeast Ohio, and their agents are ready to take your call and see how they can help you with your home and automotive insurance needs. Give them a call today at 740-384. I made up a new area code. 740-384-2020 to see how they can help you. Again, thank you to Lockard Insurance. And Hunter, we've got a two-point South Point lead with 4.36 to go. Zane Trace with the ball here. They get it in. Green. Carter guarding him. He tried the baseline. Comes back out. Gets it back out. Nathan Robinson. Over to Landon Robinson. 
Lovely guarding him. Again, Lovely with two fouls. Got to be careful. Stone Rock inside. And they're going to say he walks. Starting to feel the momentum shift a little bit in here towards South Point's way. A little bit. 4.21 to go. Second quarter. South Point with a two-point lead. And Irma Balich will bring it up the floor. Fielders has it. Get over to Lovely. Lovely for three. Back iron no good. Rebound. Landon Gerald. 5'9 sophomore for Zane Trace. He drives inside, looks to pass. That's stolen away by Lovely, and he's got a open look, Ooh. and he misses the bunny. Rebound attempt, no good, gets it back. Off glass, misses wow. again. That's three bunnies in a row they failed to put in the hoop. Jeez. And quickly across, Ream, three, big if it goes, got it! Huge. Yeah, that, that kind of kind of hurt him right there. It's a five-point swing, Hunter. Great play on defense, too, to, to lead to that the three misses. Irma Volich ahead inside. Shot up and in. That was Jackson Vance, the 6'2 senior. Put South Point back in front, 19 to 18, and we've got a back and forth affair all of a sudden. <laughs> yeah. Landon Gerald gets it over. Malin Robinson. Got Vance on him, throws it up. Great. Stone Rock. Tried the alley oop there. The shot, no good. Rebound. Back to South Point, Irma Volich drives, and they're going to call foul on the floor before the shot. Did they make the rims a little higher for these layups? <laughs> 19-18, to South Point with the lead and the ball. And we got a timeout, 30-second timeout by South Point with 2.59 to go. In the second quarter, Xander Ream with 13 of the 18 points for Zane Trace and Caleb Lovely with 12 of the 19 points for South Point. Two superior Southeast Ohio stars going at it here for a district championship. Again, South Point looking for their first ever district title in 32 years. And Zane Trace looking for district championship number five in their school's history. And South Point only has one loss this season to a team from Ohio. Uh, their other losses came from teams across the river in West Virginia. They've had a pretty successful season as the three by Lovely is too strong, no good. Had a pretty successful season in terms of Ohio, other Ohio teams. They lost early in the season to Chesapeake. That's their lone loss in the state. Dane Trace, the gold ball winner from the SVC, as Gerald takes a three. That's short, no, no good. Rebound number violence. Too strong on the pass to Carter, and it goes out of bounds back to Zane Trace. But Zane Trace, the gold ball winner in the SVC, they. Uh, Bring in a 13 straight winning game winning streak uh, into tonight's game. So both teams pretty successful campaigns this year. Quite a few sophomores and juniors out there for both teams too. So they uh, should be right back here again next year. Darrell at the Stone Rock out top. Inside, Stone Rock with it, gets it back out. And there's a three ball by Gerald, got it. Big shot by Brock Gerald, 21 to 19. Dane Trace back in the lead, Carter. Looking for help, gets it back. The Dornan, he drives. And there's a shot by Lovely, but they're gonna say he traveled. Little stutter step. 151 to go. We got a two point ball game, 21 to 19.
Merrill brings it across the timeline. And a miscommunication there. Ring was coming back for the ball. And Robinson thought he was cutting to the basket. The turnover back to South Point. And they'll try to tie or take the lead here with 1.39 to go in the second quarter. Lovely. Drives baseline. Hangs in the air. Puts it off glass and in. We got a tie game, 21 all, 118 to go before half. Green has it. Carter's guarding him. More South Point gets it over. Name and Gerald. Inside, Stone Rock, wide open layup, and he misses. Carter comes away with it, 44 seconds left, and South Point possibly may hold for one. It looks like they will. The pointers either want the lead or to be tied going into halftime. We've got 30 seconds left. Lovely with the ball. Coach Wise calling out the play. Childers comes up for the screen. Step back three, lovely, in and out. 16 seconds left, so they didn't wait. Yep. Thought they maybe catch Jarrell into guard. the corner, back to Ream. Ream has it, 10 seconds left. Over to Landon Jarrell, 5'9", sophomore. Five seconds left, he drives, gets fouled. And I believe that's the sixth foul for Zane Trace. for South Point. So Zane Trace will inbound the ball here with four seconds left. They get it inside. Gerald for three. At the buzzer. Got it. Big shot by Landon Gerald. The 5'9 sophomore. That was his second three. And it's a three-point ball game, 24-21 going into half. Zane Trace leads South Point. And what was a really exciting first, first half, Hunter, back and forth in that second quarter. And uh, I think, uh, you know, you look at the, at the two leading scorers for each team. You know, My name is Ben Reinhardt. They, uh, they've showed everyone why, you know, they, they've led their team to this point, the senior Xander Ream and the junior Caleb Lovely. So we're going to uh, we're going to hear a word from our sponsors here real quick, and then we're going to take a little bit of a break, and we'll come back and break down second half action uh, after that break. And uh, so we'll see you all on the other side of halftime. My name is Ben Reinhardt, and I have worked at General Mills for nine years now. Christopher Suter, and I've been working here, it'll be 10 years in October. Linda Wilson, and I've worked here for 30 years. Charles Stanley, and I've been working here for 30 years. I'm a production team leader. The operations manager for snacks, or pizza rolls. FSA maintenance team lead. I am currently a line lead. One word I would use to describe General Mills would be superior. Opportunities. Great place to work. Opportunity. The favorite part about working in Wellston and uh, living in Southern Ohio is, again, just the, the family environment that we have here. A great group of people. Born and raised here, so my family's here, but it really truly is about our people. Uh, feels like a big family. I think Southern Ohio people are really hospitable, very nice, and um, I like how laid back it is. I've seen General Mills come a long way um, in my time here. Um, everything from the safety culture to the engagement of um, our workers. I would say it's really around our, our safety culture. Oh my, over the last 30 years, huge improvements. Overall, it's just the way we work. And we truly do work smarter instead of harder now. 
Making 20,000 cases of pizza roll a day was a lot. Now we make close to 170,000 or upwards sometimes to 200,000 cases a day. So uh, that's been a big evolution just in automation and how well people know how to do their jobs, how professional they are. One piece of advice I'd give is just come in with an open mind. Again, it's a big family environment here. Um, we're going to put effort into you just like expect you to put effort into us. And just come in every day, I mean, just ready to work and ready to have fun because it is fun. Now, you'll you have trying days. Um, it's just like any other job. Um, but overall, the experience and the satisfaction you'll get out of it is well more than any kind of bad day you'll ever have.
Welcome back to Division Three District Championship Basketball here on BMG Media. Zane Trace leads South Point 24 to 21. I'm Nathan Lame alongside my partner Hunter Wright. And we are excited to bring you second half action here from the Convocation Center in Athens, which should be a fantastic finish here as we see who will be facing the Green Devils in the regional semifinal on Wednesday. North Adams again beat Minford in the first game in Division Three tonight as we begin second half action. And there's a three, short, no good. Rebounded by South Point. Lovely's gonna drive this time, goes up over Robinson and hits the two. It's a one point ball game, 24-23. The press, press from the pointers. Green has it, he's gonna drive, throws it inside, try to get it to Stone Rock, stolen away by Armavalic. And he brings it up the court. Over to Lovely, he's got a wide open three. Off front rim, no good. Reen going to run it. Ormavalic goes up strong. Just disrupted the play enough. Yeah, no kidding. The defense by Ormavalic and Lovely, he's going to drive. Nice crossover, takes it straight to the rack and in. Four quick points in this half by Lovely. And the pointers are back on top by one, 25-24. Lovely with 18 points, leads all scores. Green thought about a three. Poked away. Staying here. I think we have a timeout. Gary Kello calls a timeout for Zane Trace. Early timeout here in the second half. It's at six minutes and 45 seconds left. The one point ball game, 25-24. This game's been back and forth pretty much ever since the second quarter started. Then we talked about Zane Trace got off to a hot start last Tuesday against Wheelersburg, and the Pirates were able to keep it close for about three and a half quarters. Never were able to take the lead in that ball game, but similar fashion tonight, Zane Trace gets out to an early lead, but the Pioneer or the uh, Pointers have been able to take the lead on multiple occasions in the second quarter, and also here in the third quarter. Yeah, and I think um, South Point's really taken advantage of those opportunities early in this half. Um, they missed a three and then got an offensive rebound and got a point, and Zane Trace had a, pretty much a wide open layup they missed. Right. Um, so that's you know, South Point just like that, taking, taking the lead that um, Zane Trace kind of entered the half with on that buzzer beat. Green has it out top, Smith guarding him. Robinson from the elbow, got it. Quick point out of the timeout. 26-25, Zane Trace back on top. Lovely drives. Throws it up, draws the foul. Landon Robinson looks like he pick up the foul. His first of the game. Lovely will go to the line. Lovely with 18 points, five rebounds. Tonight's contest. First free throw. Off the back iron, no good. Second shot for Lovely. And that's in. He's got 19 for the game. Leads all scores. Good saving pass Zane, there. Yeah, nice job breaking the press by Zane Trace. All the way to the rack is Ream. And the pointers of South Point now find themselves down two. It's like Ream and Lovely kind of play off of each other. And there's a steal. Robinson, nice anticipation on the pass. Nalen Robinson with it in to the corner to Ream. Lovely guarding him back out top for Robinson. Carter tried to steal. Robinson drives inside, step back, pass, Stone Rock, off glass, no good, rebound Carter. And another easy shot missed, inside. Lovely drive, dishes into the corner to Carter, back out. 
Emma Volich. Inside. Now back out, Lovely. He drives. Takes the jumper. Draws the foul. Draws it. They go back to the line for two more. 5-14 left, third quarter. Zane Trace with a two-point lead, 28-26. His first shot is good. Second shot is good as well. We are tied yet again at 28. Green for three, left side, off front rim, no good, rebound. Goes to Dorner. Pass way ahead. Haney. He kicks it back out. Lovely from the elbow. Got it. Another shot Caleb made by Caleb Lovely. I believe that's his 22nd point. Yeah, he's having a great start to this half. And out of bounds. To South Point. That was Gerald look, looking for some contact there. Nothing called. And now South Point with a two-point lead and the ball. Drive is lovely all the way to the rack, no good. Nice defense by Zane Trace that time. Stone Rock with it back to Gerald. Back to Stone Rock. Aylan Robinson is going to shoot from the elbow again. This one's short, no good. And Haney has it for South Point. Mervalic now, six foot senior, South Point. Lovely, gonna run a bit of a weave offense here. Yes. Lovely for three, got it. 33-28, wow. oh. biggest lead of the night for South Point, and Zane Trace calls a timeout. Five point lead for the pointers. We want to thank our sponsors, uh, General Mills of Wellston, for sponsoring our live coverage from the OHSA District Basketball Tournament. General Mills of Wellston is the preferred employer in Southeast Ohio and are currently offering a $1,000 retention bonus for all new hires. Apply today at careers.generalmills.com or by scanning the QR code shown on your screen throughout the game. Again, thank you, General Mills, for your sponsorship. Well, we'd like to thank Lockhart Insurance of Wellston for sponsoring our live coverage of the OHSA District Basketball Tournament. Lockhart Insurance is the preferred insurance provider in Southeast Ohio, and their agents are ready to take, care, take your call and see how they can help you with your home and automotive insurance needs. Give them a call today at 740-384-2020 to see how they can help you. Again, thank you to Lockhart Insurance and General Mills for sponsoring the district action all week long this week and all day long today as this is the third game of a triple header. Uh, first two games, the Division II winner was Fairfield Union. Uh, they'll move on into the Sweet 16. Uh, North Adams won the second game today, and they will play the winner of the third game, which is South Point Zane Trace. So we'll see. We've got 3.54 to go in the third quarter. As Zane Trace gets it in, see who will face the Green Devils in that game next Wednesday. Darryl shot off glass, and they count it. That was Robinson, the 6'1 sophomore. Draws the foul, gets the basket. Check out that replay on her. Nice finish. Hey, that's good. I feel like Zane Trace after every timeout gets a gets a quick point. They draw something up and it works. Three point play there. By Landon Robinson. He's got five points. For Zane Trace. Two point ball game, 33-31. Haney. Warren looking for some help. Haney. Uh, tried to give and go off of 
Gornan's hands out of bounds back to Zane Trace, and they can tire take the lead here with 3.20 left in the third quarter. And they get it in. Robinson has it. Trying to trap. Gerald brings it across the timeline. Green has it. Back to Robinson. Robinson drives on Lovely. Puts up the shot. Off the mark, no good. A rebound by South Point's Henshaw. Under three minutes left, third quarter. Lovely, straight on, two-pointer. It's too easy, 28 oh, he's, points. He's heating up. He's, he's been on fire, Hunter. <laughs> yeah. I think it's beyond heating up. Nice pass inside. Oh, Robinson tried to get it into Stone Rock, and it's stolen away. South Point running now. Lovely with it. Tried to get it over to Irma Volich, but it gets knocked out of bounds. And it'll stay with South Point. Lovely made that play on defense, too. Again, only a junior. Caleb Lovely, that's, uh, that's pretty scary, especially if you're in the OVC. Pass inside, bulldozed by Stone Rock. It was Henshaw, another sophomore for South Point. <laughs> Lovely shot inside, short, no good, rebound by Robinson. He gets it ahead. Brandon Gerald, you get another sophomore. Tons of sophomores out there for oh, yeah, these teams. Very young teams. 35 31, South Point leads Zane Trace, third quarter. And inside to Stone Rock, back out to Green. Two minutes left, third quarter. Inside, Naylor Robinson trying to get it to the hold, puts it up, off glass, no good. Nearly stolen by Ream ahead, Irma Balich. Takes it to the rack and gets the roll. Largest lead of the night for South Point, 37-31. Three ball, right side, no good. And getting the rebound is Lena Robinson for the putback. That's why you follow your shot, Hunter. Absolutely, yeah, that was very good on his part. It's back to a four-point ball game. Lovely, around the screen. Needs help, back to Haney. And Ravalic with it. Reem on him, gets the screen. Drives inside, nearly lost the ball. Looking for help, gets it in. Shot up, off glass, no good. Henshaw missed from inside. Under a minute left, third quarter. Pass, nice pass by Robinson. And they're going to call a foul. May have just been, may have just been out of bounds, Hunter. A little bit of contact on that sideline, but no foul called. Forty seconds left. Thirty-seven, thirty-three. South Point up, looking to extend the lead before the end of the fourth or the end of the third quarter. As Lovely goes behind the back, kicks it back out. And the volunteer with it now. Twenty-one seconds left, third quarter. Looking for help. There. There's a timeout call. Pretty good timeout right there. Seconds left, yeah. Like Henshaw was trapped pretty well in the corner there. Got a 37-33 point ball game. Nine seconds left in the third quarter. K 
Caleb Lovely leads all scorers with 28 points. Xander Reem leads Zane Trace with 15 points tonight. South Point, 41.7% on field goals, 30% on three-point shots. They have one foul in the second half. Meanwhile, Zane Trace, 39.4 from the floor with 41.7% from the three-point line with four fouls in the third quarter so far. So much better three-point performance tonight from Zane Trace. Mm -hmm. uh, but South Point really doing a pretty good job inside. Yeah, they're kind of scoring all over the floor. A little bit of everywhere. Yeah. Nine seconds left, third quarter. Irma Ballas with it. Gets it inside. Layup off glass, no good. Inshaw draws the foul, the 6'3 sophomore with 3.5 left. He'll go to the line. Trying to get his first points tonight. Oh, that's Childers. Thought that was 30. That was not Inshaw. That was Childers. Childers gets on the board. He's been close a few times tonight. He's a 6'6 sophomore. In that sophomore class, yeah, pretty yeah. lengthy for oh, South yeah. Point as the second shot ends, 39-33. Stolen, Irma Vaz throws up a last second wow. prayer and it bounces <laughs> off the rim, no good. That would've been crazy. Wow. What a finish we've got. Coming our way, a six point ball game, 39-33. South Point leads for the first time at the end of a quarter tonight. As they've slowly, slowly taken this lead. They, they were down by six early. Came back, it was back and forth in the second quarter. Kind of step, you know, stepping over that line in the third quarter. And now they're, they find themselves up by six uh, with eight minutes left between them and uh, their second district championship in school history. Yeah, and I, I think the, the biggest takeaway so far this half is South Point has contained Rain for the most part, where Lovely is kind of still getting what he wants, um, if not more than the first half. And, and they're, they're executing a lot better and they're taking advantage of the opportunities they have. So. Um, I'm not surprised that they've, they've kind of taken this lead back, and you kind of want to see what Zane Trace has um, to, uh, to kind of climb back in it. Yeah, uh, we want to thank uh, General Mills of Wilson for sponsoring our live coverage of the OHSA District Basketball Tournament. General Mills of Wilson is currently offering, uh, is the preferred employer in Southeast Ohio, and they're currently offering a $1,000 retention bonus for all new hires. Apply today at careers.generalmills.com or by scanning the QR code shown on your screen throughout the game. Thank you again to General Mills for your sponsorship. Also, Lockard Insurance. I want to thank Lockard Insurance of Wilson for sponsoring our live coverage of the OHSA District Basketball Tournament. Lockard Insurance is the preferred insurance provider of Southeast Ohio, and their agents are ready to take your call and see how they can help you with your home and automotive insurance needs. Give them a call today at 740-384-2020. See how they can help you. Thank you to Lockard Insurance as we start the fourth quarter. 39-33, Zane Trace down. Need some points here as Robinson gets it in, Stone Rock off glass, and almost got the basket, but they're gonna call a blocking foul on South Point as Jackson Vance tried to draw the charge. He did not get the call. Again, free throws in any game are huge, but especially at the district championship yeah. game. Uh, in the fourth quarter, they become that much more important. Especially with a little bit of a deficit, too. Absolutely. First shot, Stone Rock off the front rim, no good. Then he was one for one in the first half. Need this basket here. Second shot, no good, but right. he hit Naylor Robinson That's with the rebound. Huge rebound. For Throws him. it into ice and ice and up off glass and wow. gets it the roll. 39-35. I mean, Big heads up play there by Ison to get that ball in. Now South Point has it with a four point lead. Lovely for three. Off, off the rim, no good. Rebound by Zane Trace. And Ison nearly had it stolen away, but it was on the line. It'll go back to Zane Trace. I think you're going to see the intensity kind of uh, ramp up here by oh, the players yeah. and the fans. And 
Got 7.15 left. Zane Trace with it down four. Darrell has it. He had a big three in that first half. Goes around a screen, drives, looking for help, kicks Somebody. it back out. Aylan Robinson. Got it! Robinson likes those mid-range shots. He's had a few of them. Got a two-point ball game, 39-37. We're under seven minutes to play. And the ball knocked out of bounds. Nice play there by Stone Rock. As Dornan was looking inside. Stone Rock takes a seat. So he'll be right back in. Yeah. Got a little bit of small ball right now. Top point gets it in. Oh, Dornan thought about a three, now he takes it. No good. Tipped up, almost tipped in by Lovely, but can't get it to fall, wow. and there's going to be a foul on what South Point. Foul. And that might have been on Irma Volic. It was, and that's going to be his second foul. Zane Terry takes out some height, and then uh, South Point brings in uh, Childers, who's 6'6", <laughs> six, six, so they're trying to get some rebounds here. Brandon Cheryl around the screen. Robinson with it over to Ison. Ison inside. Malin Robinson, nice spin, tries to reverse. Wow. Gets it in the foul! What a shot by Robinson. Oh, yeah. Nice spin. Waited. Drew the foul. Got it off glass and in. He is having a great start to this quarter. That big offensive rebound after the two missed free throws, and now he's kind of just carrying the team early on. So we got a tie ball game, and Robinson can take the lead for Zane Trace. Free throw up off front rim, no good. Rebound, lovely. 6.13 to go. Lovely. Floater, no good. Rebound. Zane Trace. Robinson. Gerald gets it poked away. Now stolen again. Up ahead to Lovely. Lovely drives. Off glass. Too strong. No good. They're going to call a foul on Landon Robinson. Pioneers fans don't like that one. We're having some difficulties with the uh, scoreboard on the bottom. It's obviously not. 391 to 39. It's 39 to 39. Lovely's free throw rattles in. So it's now 401 to 39, Hunter. <laughs> 40 to 39. 551 to go. History in the making. Second shot is in, 41-39. And Trace gets it across, Gerald. He's gonna drive. Throws it right to Lovely. Lovely, three on one. He's taking it to the rack anyway and drops it in. 43-39 and Lovely's taking control. 30 points. Nearly another steal. Ison. Ream gets it poked away, gathers it back up. Zane Trace wanted a foul, no foul. Give and go. Now there's a foul. That's something. Off the ball. Josh Childers playing tight defense on Sandra Ream. That's five fouls for South Point as they get it in. Green, Nathan Robinson looking for Reem on the cut, not there. Takes it to the rack. Gets, a, gets blocked, but they're going to call a foul. Assume they're going to call the body foul on Carter Smith. Yeah, clean block. Yeah, yeah. Clean block by Dornan. Uh, but Smith with a little bit of contact, and they call it. Huge free throws right here. First one up and in. 
and the next foul for either team. Uh, we'll send them to the bonus for the one and one. Both teams set at six fouls right now with 5.03 left, fourth quarter. Second shot is in, 43-41. It's a two-point ball game. Smith, he's going to drive it all the way up the floor here. Nobody yeah, for Zane nobody Trace. Going in back out, Irma Bala. Back to Lovely. Lovely has been in control of the offense all night long. One-handed off wow. glass. I mean, what do you do? He's what? like a video game, Hunter. 45-41. 32 points for the junior. Avon Robinson at the elbow. He likes that spot. Now he drives inside, loses the ball out of bounds. Back to South Point. Mike Robinson wanted a foul there, no call. 4.29 to go, fourth quarter. In the largest lead of the night was six points for South Point. Right now we've got a four-point ball game. Irma Balic drives inside, kicks out Lovely. Thought about a three. Still may take it. Um, he drives inside. Nice pass. Dornan couldn't get the handle, and they call a foul on the floor. And that will send Xander Dornan to the line for one and one. 4-11 left. Big free throws here by the six foot four senior from South Point. Shots in. 46 41, five point game. Second shot. Short, no good, rebound, Zane Trace. Aylan Robinson has it. Over to Landon Gerald. Four minutes left. Trace needs a shot. Reem has it. He's gonna drive on Irma Valich and they're gonna call a foul. That's Irma Valich's second foul. Or th third foul. Got the call. We got it. That, it was close. It was. It was real close. Big free throw from Reem. And no good, but they're going to call a foul against Naylon Robinson. On the rebound. Again, I mean, South Point has just taken Reem out of the game, and then he gets the opportunity there and misses that free throw. You're, you're hoping maybe something, if you're Zane Trace, you're hoping he gets a shot and starts feeling some confidence, but, but they're just they're, they're doing a really good job defensively against him. And Reem kind of went a little quiet against Wheelersburg in the middle portion of that game as well, and still finished with 18 points last Tuesday. Right, uh, right now sets at 15, so if you're a... Zane Trace fan, you hope that he surpasses what he did last sure, week. Right. You're going to need him to do that, being down by five points uh, and possibly even seven after these two free throws or after the bonus here for South Point. And uh, Zane Trace has not lost in 13 games. 13 yeah. game winning streak coming into this one, looking for their fifth ever district championship. Had a little bit of success the last few years. Had a long stretch of a district title drought uh, in between those two previous district titles. Yep. And this is a young team overall for Zane Trace, but you're going to lose Xander Reem. Yeah. Uh, quite possibly, you know, quite possibly the best player in the SBC uh, on the Gold Ball winning championship team, but uh, great. Great player in terms of Southeast Ohio yeah. in general. And Naylon Robinson, he's, he's kind of like that glue guy, kind of does it all behind the scenes. Uh, right. He's a senior too. He's another one that's going to be gone. But those are like those are the two guys you want your seniors in this last four minutes to kind of make some plays and get you get some momentum back on their right. side. 
First shot is good by Xander Jordan. And it's 47 to 41, six point ball game. Second shot off the rim, gets the bounce. It's 48-41, seven point lead for South Point. 3.50 left, Dane Trace needs a bucket. And they're gonna call a foul as Gerald drove. I believe they're gonna call Childers with. And there we go, that's. Again, a little, a little touchy, a little touchy. Pioneers will take it though. Yeah. Try to cut into the lead. Tyson back in for Zane Trace, good three point shooter. Had a big timely three against Wheelersburg last yeah. Tuesday. Landon Gerald, the 5'9 sophomore. First, re first shot, no good. A rebound goes to Lovely. Need a stop here for Zane Trace. Lovely has it. Trying to draw wow. the foul. No foul Nothing. call. No 10 second either. Irma Volich with it out top. 3.24 to go, he drives. Dishes into the corner. Lovely will take it out top, now he drives. Nice pass wow, inside. Carter Smith with the layup. It's 50 to 41, the largest lead of the night. Nine points for South Point. Yeah, this is a massive possession for Dane Trace. Ream, three, off the rim, no good. Rebound, Childers ahead. He pulls it back Slows out, it gives down. it to Lovely. 2.50 to go, fourth quarter. Big Green. Screen, oh, nice <laughs> nice defense by Ison, but you just can't stop. Caleb Lovely. 36 points tonight for Caleb Lovely. Yeah, that's impressive. And an 11 point lead. Zane Trace, Ream has it down low. Shot up again and in. For Zane Trace, it's now back to a nine-point game with 2.26 to go. Zane Trace got to string some stops together, but boy, been hard to uh, been hard to keep Caleb Lovely out of the out of the paint down there. No, not at all. And I mean, he's got he also has eight rebounds. He's made some some big plays on defense too. I mean, he's doing everything on, on both ends of the ball. Just, not much, much you can do. <laughs> how much more impressive is the fact that? He had two quick fouls in the first quarter. Yep. Uh, so that's got a that's got a way on your mind when you're driving to the basket, you know, in the first quarter, second quarter. That hey, I've got I've got two fouls. If I if I commit another foul here, I'm going to be on the bench for you know four or five minutes. Yeah. Um, but yet it didn't even it didn't seem like it bothered him at all. No, and credit to to the coach for for leaving him in because they were down at that time. They were. Um, and he's you know just said hey let, let's keep playing and. Uh, he started heating up, and <laughs> now he's got 36 points, and was, still only has two fouls. I think it was a smart move leaving uh, Mr. Lovely in the ball game. Yeah. The 2.26 to go. Zane Trace down by nine points. And South Point has not shot particularly well from the three-point line, or 25% for the game. Zane Trace at 38.5 for the game. Then that inside scoring by Lovely. Yep. As they get it in, pass. Childers wide open to the basket, lays it off glass, gets it in. Big shot. 54-43, 11-point game, 2.15 to go. Ison with it. Gets it poked wow. away by Lovely. He lets it roll out of bounds. Two minutes, two minutes left. Two minutes to the Green's gonna have to take over here. Throws it inside. Nalen Robinson 
Backing down Dorn and he throws up the shot. Going to draw the foul. 150 to go. 11 points, still time. But you've got to start by making these free throws. Absolutely, yeah. And I mean, I, it's almost to the point where you need to start taking some, some longer shots and frees. Um, kind of hope for the best. Got the scoreboard back up for you as Robinson's first free throw is good. Now a 10 point game, 150 left. Division three district championship game. Second free throw is in for the senior. Lane Trace with a little bit of press here and they're gonna foul Lovely. So Lovely will go back to the line. Not the guy you wanna foul. No. One forty-five left. You need some misses if you're a Zane Trace fan. Lovely with thirty-six tonight. Make it thirty-seven. I'm not sure what the record is in a district championship game, but. He's got to be up near the top 10, I would close. imagine. Yeah, I've never seen anything like it <laughs> in a district final. Second shot up, no good. And the rebound goes to Ison. Gets it poked away, gathers it back, throws it ahead. All the way ahead, Robinson. Easy layup. That's what you need if you're Zane Trace. 55-47. Now they need another stop here. They get it in, lovely. Ahead. Childer, that's Carter Smith. All the way to... Xander Dornan, and he answers. I think you need a big three here. Gerald drives yep. all the way to the hoop, throws it up, gets the basket, and draws that also, the foul. That also works. Nice drive. Not afraid of the big man no, down there. Not at all. Is that right for him? He's right up over Dornan, gets the, gets the ball to roll into the hoop. Draws the foul. Big shot here. By the sophomore. Can't get the roll, and they're going to call a foul on Robinson. Again, that's a second oh, foul wow. down there on a, on a free throw. He's pleading his case. And now we'll have two free throws on the other side, and that was Robinson's fifth foul, so he'll take a seat for the remainder of this game, the senior. Not the way he wants to go out. Definitely not. It's a tough one. Now Stone Rock comes back in for Zane Trace. One of the shots up and in. That's his sixth point of the night. A lot of them at the free throw line, too. Trying to make it a 10 point game. 58 49, 116 left. Second shot. Rolls off, no good. And they're gonna say it was off of Ream. And it'll stay with South Point. What a huge play there by Erman Volich. He'll take it out. Gets it in, Dorn and layup off glass and in. 60 to 49, 110 to go. And South Point fans can feel it. We're down to a minute. Gerald, step back three. Got it! Wow. What a big shot by Gerald, the sophomore. Eight point game now, 60 to 52, and they're gonna need a few more of those. Yep. Look at a step back, hand in the face, right over Smith. Keeping hope alive. I wanna read over, uh, thank our sponsors again. Uh, We'd like to thank General Mills of Wellston for sponsoring our live coverage of the o OHSA District Basketball Tournament. General Mills of Wellston is the preferred employer in Southeast Ohio, and they're currently offering a $1,000 retention bonus for all new hires. Apply today at careers.generalmills.com or by scanning the QR code shown on your screen throughout the game. Again, thanks to General Mills for your sponsorship. Lockhart Insurance. We'd like to thank Lockhart Insurance of Wellston for sponsoring our live coverage of the OHSA District Basketball Tournament. 
Lockhart Insurance is the preferred insurance provider in Southeast Ohio, and their agents are ready to take your call and see how they can help you with your home and automotive insurance. Give them a call today at 740-384-2020 to see how they can help you. And thank you to Lockhart Insurance and General Mills for sponsoring this district tournament here live on BMG. Again, 100% free of charge, as always. Couldn't do it without our sponsors. As Gerald with a big three before that timeout. And we've got a little bit of hope for the Pioneers as they get it into Lovely. And you can see Zane Trace does not want to foul Lovely. Yeah. They're not going after anybody. Really. Carter Smith has it now. Right, they want to turn it. And a nice steal exactly there. The Robinson going to take it to the rack. Ooh. And it gets poked away out of bounds. That was good patience by Zane Trace, waiting to maybe not force a foul and see if he can get a turnover, and that's what they got. 42 seconds left, Zane Trace with the ball now, down by eight. They need a bucket. They cannot have an offensive possession without a score now. No. There's not enough time left. Green, they throw it up. He's got it. Smith on him. He drives around, takes the three, and they call the foul. the foul. So Reem will go to the line to shoot three as Carter picks up another foul, the 6'3 junior. Carter Smith. So Ream with probably the three biggest free throws of his career right here to try to cut the lead to five if he can make them all. First shot, up and in. And that's Ream's 18th point. So he's got uh, 36 in the district tournament so far. Meanwhile, <laughs> Dave Lovely has 37 in the uh, championship game. Second shot, rattles and out. That, that hurts. Now, 38.3 seconds left here. You, you think Ream tries to bounce it off to himself? I, I think he can still make this, and it's a two-possession game. And he gets the wow. third free throw. It's now 60 to 54, six points. And they try to trap. Big foul, they foul Lovely. So Lovely will go to the line. 36.9 seconds left. Up by six. It'll be a two-shot foul. Double bonus time for South Point. Lovely one for one on his last trip down. First shot this time's up and in. He's got 38 points. 61-54, three-possession game. Lovely second shot is in. Back to an eight-point lead for South Point. Winner's playing with a little bit of pressure here. Darrell has it. He's going to drive all the way to the rack, throws it back out. There's a three ball by Robinson, just short. Rebound. Up and in Dang. with the foul. Landon Darrell. Sophomore's having a big quarter here. Look at that, getting both defenders to jump early. Nice job inside, inside there by the 5'9 sophomore. Darryl gonna try to make another three-point play here. He's got the free throw, 62-57. Five points now, they've cut into the lead farther. And South Point, they call time. We've got a five-point game, 24.1 seconds left. It's been a pretty, pretty close game for the most part. Uh, South Point stretched that lead in the fourth quarter a little bit, up 11 at a couple points. Uh, but uh, Zane Trace not going away, playing until the end. Yeah, yeah, I mean, good effort by them. They're, they're keeping their hopes alive. Um, I, I think, you know, after this, they, every, every play after the timeout, Zane Trace has made a play. So um, we'll, we'll see what happens here. Obviously, you don't want Lovely to have the ball, but it's kind of hard to, Keep it out of his hands. So. Right. Uh, well, and you mentioned uh, earlier about Reem having some other, somebody else step up. Uh, Naylon Robinson stepped up huge before he fouled out. And now you're seeing Landon Gerald do the same thing. Right. So it's really taking the pressure off of Reem. Uh, but still, you got to go to your superstar uh, in times like this, late in, late in the game, uh, to try to get uh, to try to get try to get the win in the district championship. Yep. 
And Lovely with 39 points tonight. Ream with 19 for Zane Trace. Leading scorer for each team. Uh, Zimmer Volich will inbound it. Gets it into Lovely, like you said. Try to trap. Zimmer Volich has it now, throws it over. They get it across the timeline, and they foul Dornan. Xander Dornan, the 6'4 senior, will go to the line with 18 seconds left. He hasn't really had a problem making them tonight from the free throw line. If you're Zane Trace, you need at least one of these to come out. Yep. Uh, to, to go back down the court with a two possession game, and then you've got to go down the court and either drive, try to draw a foul, or shoot a quick three. First shot, up and in. Six point ball game, two possession game. The senior going to try to make it a three possession game here with this last free throw. Shots in, three possession game. Now it's pressure time, 15 seconds left. Gerald has it. He's going to. Drive inside. They need to put up a shot quick. Daryl blocked. And the ball is out of bounds, but they're going to call foul wow. on Dornan. So Stone Rock will go to the line to shoot two with 5.6 seconds left. In a three possession game, it's going to be hard for Zane Trace to pull this one out here with such little time left. Need to make both and get a steal. And another shot. <laughs> yes. Not impossible, but. Not impossible, but it's tough. Reggie Miller scored nine points in like seven seconds once. Yep. First shot short. Stone Rock's been struggling to, to find uh, the bottom of the net tonight. 6'5", senior second shot. Short again, no good. Ball's out of bounds. Going to stay with Zane Trace with 4.4 left. You need a quick three. Right here on this inbound play. Catch and shoot. And bringing another shooter in. And the senior will take a seat for Zane Trace. And Wilburn's going to come in for South Point. Dornan will take a seat. 6'4 senior. And South Point fans are on their feet. Ream has it. Puts up the three, no good. Rebound, Smith tip, and that's it. South Point, welcome to the Sweet 16. For the first time since 1990. It's been a while. The South Point Pointers are district champions. They will come back on Wednesday night and try to make it to the regional final against North Adams. Yeah, I mean, great, great effort by Zane Trace there at the end, trying to climb back into it. But at the end of the day, Caleb Lovely took over 39 points. There's, there's not much you can do. Yeah, great job by Zane Trace tonight. Nothing to hang their heads about. They played yeah. a heck of a game uh, across the board. You knew Zane Vereen was going to get, you know, near 20 points at least. Naylon Robinson stepped up big time for them. It's a shame he fouled out with a few minutes to go. Uh, was the difference maker in that fourth quarter and them coming back. Yep. Uh, but once he took a seat, it was Landon Gerald who came out yeah. and uh, really put the team on his back the last couple minutes, hit a big three, uh, three-point play, driving to the basket, got a nice offensive rebound put back. Uh, so great job by Zane Trace. They did an exceptional job. They will fall in the district championship game. Uh, that will also end their 13-game winning streak. Um, and uh, South Point, again, for the first time since 1990, Pointers are district champions. And they will play in the regional semifinal against North Adams on Wednesday night. Unfortunately, we will not have that one for you here on BMG. Uh, we had planned to run all the way to the state, uh, state tournament. We were going to do the regionals, but uh, unfortunately, we're not uh, able to do that. So this will be our final broadcast of the season. And uh, what, a, what a great season it's been here on BMG. Uh, all throughout the tournament, all throughout the regular season. Uh, it's been a blast. I know, Hunter, we've been able to do some games together this yeah. year, and uh, the crew we have here, uh, the gadgets that they have, uh, it's amazing what uh, you know, Michael Gray's been able to do, Tyler Ward, uh, co-owners of BMG. It's been a fantastic year um, for us, fantastic to watch these teams in Southeast District. It's been a great ride. So uh, that's going to wrap up our coverage here from the 
Sunday of champions here at the Convocation Center on the campus of Ohio University. Um, again, the first game, Fairfield Union uh, wins the Division II District ch Championship. Uh, North Adams wins Division III title in the second game, and then South Point wins the Division III District title in the third game. They'll meet again on Wednesday for a trip to the regional final. So, uh, one last time, South Point over Zane Trace, 64 to 57 for my partner, Tyler Ward, and Hunter Wright, uh, our crew on the uh, cameras. I don't even know who all we have down there. We've got a lot of people here, uh, but thanks to everybody that put on this production. Uh, I'm Nathan Lamb. That's going to do it for another season of BMG Media. We'll see you next fall. Brock Gerald. Sebastian Ray. Man the outside shot, Xander Reed. And your big man in the middle, your senior, Kyle Stone Rock. <laughs> Head coach Gary Kellogg and his staff. Jackson Shoulders. And your starters, Xander Darnick. Jordan Milanovic. Jackson Vance. Carter Smith. 39 points in the convo, Caleb Lovely. <laughs> Travis Wise and his staff. <laughs> A district championship trophy for the players. <laughs> <laughs>